watching because we're going to be discussing how to break into the entertainment industry as a hairstylist. So stay tuned. Welcome back. So as I promised, I'm going to be going over seven ways to break into the entertainment industry. And Step five. Now that we have relocated to whatever our destiny is, whether that's California, Atlanta, or New York, we have relocated. We have invested in ourselves with pictures. We have created a portfolio or a link. Now it's time to start scouting agencies. And one of the things that you want to do when you're scouting for agencies, and these are talent agencies, these are for people who are hair professionals or makeup artists professionals, because these skill sets go hand in hand with makeup and hair. So once you got all your information together, and you're ready to start questing for an agent, now it's time to research the agency's websites. Now it's time to look at their roster, see who's on their roster, see what talents they have, look at their talents portfolios, see if they match the work that you have. If they don't, write the note down to see what you're missing so you can perfect that later. Also, see what they don't have. Say for instance, you have the quality, but they don't have the teased hair looks. This is a, a sales tactic for you to be able to contact that agency and say, hey, I see that you guys, um, you guys are missing X, Y, and Z, and I possess that. I think I would be a good fit for your agency. Maybe you guys should take a look at my link, provide the link in the email because you've already set up your professional website in order to provide them with that. Provide them with the link, they'll review it, and if they feel that you are a good fit, you will get that call. Okay. Six, you want to build a social media presence. So now that you have a portfolio, you want to flaunt it. You want to create social media pages, whether that be Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, Google Plus, Pinterest. Start broadcasting your work. Start tagging your work with the proper tags that identify your work. Start um, tagging your work with the name of yourself so people can start to understand when they see this picture, they can translate it to you so they can identify it. Once you do that, now you have just began branding yourself. This is an identifier, and this is what helps you stick out from the rest. Also, once you finish branding and getting your social media presence, start locating beauty and fashion conventions. Start going to these places so you can get more brushed up on what's new and what's out. Start meeting friends and uh, talking to people, seeing what they're up to. Maybe you'll find people who are have similar crafts as you. Maybe you guys can learn and teach one another um, at beauty events like, you know, BeautyCon and um, so many places that you can go to. Um, also, you can go to some fashion shows. Um, start talking to people and mingling, seeing how you can be a good fit uh, as a hairstylist there. See if they're looking for anybody um, and be willing to do it for free because there is some things that you will be able, you will have to do for free just to kind of get people's attention because people are not always willing to take a chance and pay you because they don't know if you're even a good fit for them. So always be willing to humble yourself and to show that you may be that person when you're up and building. And also, nothing's wrong with doing stuff for free, but also give yourself a cutoff time. Um, when you're somewhat satisfied to the direction that you're going and you are building and you have built a foundation, know when to cut off and know how to explain your cut off time to someone. Like, hey, I'm willing to do it um, until November of 
this season and then in December I will be charging X, Y, and Z. Gather up a contract, some type of information, paperwork that you can have so people can have it in writing and have an understanding like, oh, okay, they know the stipulations, they know what to expect. These are things, an uh, extra tip. Seven, for seven, stay humble and always be willing to learn more. Always go to further education classes and always be willing to uh, help others if they need help. Uh, give tips when tips are needed. Um, when you do get that call, it may not be the biggest gig, but be humble enough to use it as a learning curve and a learning experience when you do get there. Because once you're there, you'll be able to have a general idea of what to expect further. And this is the time for you to make your mistakes during the small stages. So when you do get that big call, you'll be well-rounded on what to expect. So I hope you guys like that. I hope that helps you in your near future. If you are a beauty professional who's looking to break into the industry, in the entertainment industry, and if for whatever reason you have questions, you can feel free to leave the comments below. If I see them, I will try to answer them as long as they're relevant. And um, that's gonna be it. So stay tuned for next week's videos. I will be trying to post every week um, tips for hair, tips for the industry, and tips for um, professionals. So you guys just stay tuned for next week's video. And I look forward to seeing you guys again. Bye-bye.